Road sign. What? 30 mil an hour? Are you serious? Why? Ah, oh, road works. Typical. Oh well. Hey, what's up guys? Frisbee here. Okay, bridge day today. Right, we'll just fly straight into it. The first thing I had to do to build this bridge building machine, which is what you're looking at just now, is build a short section of road and then put this sort of um, square, squared off frame onto it. Just link up two wheels, one sensor, one cage or access platform at the front, and then jump in and away we go. And what it is, is that sensor over on the right hand side, it just tells the machine that there's nothing down there and to stop moving and that allows me to put in the next section of bricks. And then when the sensor picks up on it, it moves forward. Okay, so what this allows me to do is put in a full sheet of blocks and then when I've done that, the machine will automatically move me backwards. And we'll just continue that one all the way out until we reach the other peak or the other mountain. And we'll have ourselves a bridge. Uh, now the thing is finished, as you've seen in the opening sequence, um, it's all completed. So right this part here, what I'm just going to show you how I did was uh, operate the machine, tweak it. First of all, we will change the field of view a wee bit so you can see the whole thing in operation as it moves along. Um, so to start with, I was just getting used to it to see what the best cut or rhythm I could get into it, speed it up a little bit. But then after a couple of minutes, I thought, right, enough of that. What we need to do is um, spice it up a bit and make it a bit more industrial. But for the moment, you can see it when it gets out over the land, it looks amazing. And it just it worked exactly as I thought it was going to. So that, that was the best thing of all. Yeah, nice job. Okay, so we'll nip out here. We'll do a quick survey of the machine itself and um, we'll make some radical changes. And what we will do is we'll put on a whole bunch of bells and whistles. Um, here we go, some signs, some flashing lights. And over on the left there, I've put on some buzzers onto the onto the sensor. It's another sensor that will set them off with spinning lights over it and give us a sort of two-tone warning every time the machine moves, just like a, a real piece of industrial uh, machinery. So it's good fun to start with. I suppose it gets annoying after a while, but I won't subject you to that from the rest of the video. Trust me, I'll just, uh, there it go. But it's pretty cool, huh? Pretty good noise. There we go. This was, like, this was the first time that I built a machine to help me build something else. Because the machine itself is surplus. Once it's finished with, it'll just get destroyed. So there you go, there's your sensor with the two lights flicking over it. So whenever the, the wheel motors come on, that comes on and you get a little toot to the sound. There you go. And that's our objective over there. At this point we're about halfway there. And um, it's quite good. What I didn't know up until today was that uh, there is more than one map. All this time I thought that these mountains were in every single map because I started a new map to build this and I couldn't find the GDM mountains, and it was all over the place looking for them, I thought I was going mad. And then I went back to one of the maps where they existed already, and I asked somebody and read it, and they said, yeah, it's procedurally generated to an extent, but there is two map types that I know of. So there we go. It's good fun clambering about on this as well. So speed it up. We're nearly there. Okay, I want to ask a favor today. Um, I need you to get try and help me get this a maximum number of likes within seven days. Maximum for me will be about 400. I've never done more than that in a week. And the reason is, is because one of my videos is, um, is getting all the attention from YouTube and it's one of the older, sort of slightly weaker ones. And I would like this one to be uh, the one that YouTube picks up on and plays. So help me out, guys. Uh, if you like the video at all, just please give it a thumbs up. Help me out and I'll see if we can get to 400 by the end of the week. And that should put it in my number one spot for, for uh, my playlist in terms of what YouTube will do for me. So that's that. Now, I landed really lucky here, didn't I? I mean, I did a little survey from the other side. Um, but I mean, I landed quite well, just that rock in the middle of the road. And I landed at the top of the mountain. Um, so once I'd done that, 
I put the, the electric engines into the reverse and cut off the buzzer on this thing and I sent it back and on its automated way it just went home on its own because um, I intended to use it for something else I've got some work to do on the underside of the bridge later on so I'm going to have a further use for it but it just looks so industrial just nipping off there in the distance meanwhile it was um, time to test things out I had to put the white stripe in and a bunch of other stuff but we'll go into that shortly of course because you can see in the opener the, the bridge is pretty much finished now I made the first of a series of really rubbish cars. Um, I need to get better at making cars. I'm just terrible at it just now. Bit more practice. But this thing was this thing was worse. It was just really really bad. Plus that groove in the middle didn't help at all. It's just the, the steering is so twitchy. If you could dial down the steering uh, on these things a little bit and just make it steer a bit more slowly, uh, a bit less responsive, it would be a lot easier. But, oh gosh. You just kept getting jammed in the middle. Because what I was trying to do was negotiate this machine. Well, it's not coming towards me actually. It's stuck on some uh, cones at the moment. I like this living dangerously right up on the edge. It's good fun. I never fell off that machine once the whole time I was using it. It's pretty cool. It worked really well. Let's do a bit of deleting here. We're going to have to rebuild this machine in a slightly different way, like I said, anyway, because we're going to stick an underneath gantry and maybe even a work arm on it or something, but see how that goes. That'll be the next episode on this one. I just want to show you the bridge getting finished, the road getting finished, the wheels going up, and um, I'll have a little bit of fun with it. So remember, like I said, if, if you haven't done it already, please give me a like this week because I really need it. I want this video to try and make it to my personal number one spot. There we go. Quite like that field of view change as well. I've started using that a bit more because you can get more. You can get more of the action into the frame. That's at sixty degrees. And I think that's pretty good. And I've been tweaking the video like crazy as well, trying to get um, better quality. A little bit. He's shooting off in the distance now, and then he's about to. <laughs> Had to. That was an accident that time. <laughs> it's pretty high up and it's pretty massive bridge as well. It's absolutely huge. So big. Anyway, fast forward and we will now. And so here is the nearly finished bridge. I've just got some road signs to put on. And then I'll make some more rubbish vehicles and we'll have a tear up and down. Now there is uh, there is a, a purpose to this bridge. That I've got for future use is I want to make some automated vehicles, vehicles that will drive up and down on their own, and um, then I can intermingle with them on us on a personally driven vehicle. Uh, that's the challenge I'm setting myself. Now, now with those with those side railings, it shouldn't be too hard um, because you've got the sensors and everything else that will just pick it up and it's kind of confined. It's getting it to stop, turn around, come back again. I noticed someone else has on Reddit has already done that this week, so. Um, it's totally doable, and, uh, and that's going to be my next challenge. Love those cones, eh? So this machine was absolutely rubbish. Even this is about the only speed that it would stay up right. I think it's because I'm building them too narrow, and I've forced myself to do that because of the width of the bridge. The bridge could have been a bit wider. So this is a seriously heavy machine. It's really long, again really narrow. Like I said, it's got suspension and it's got a bit more power, but oh, it's all over the shop. So I need to practice my vehicle making. Any comments you got, just any uh, help you got, just leave it in the comments. Tell me where I'm going wrong and what I should be doing, and I will try to build better vehicles. Like I say, we're going to build. I'm going to try and build a little Google car that will um, make it along this bridge. Possibly turn around and come back. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'd like two or three of them going in either direction. I love that road sign. It's just the perfect colour of blue. Well, it is in the UK anyway. That's the colour we use. Um, I know that in the States I can use green and all sorts of other colours, I don't know. A few places in Europe. Oh, dreadful driving. Watch this. I really totally meant this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Who needs self-writing mechanisms? I don't know why it did that. It must just be the way. It can't be the way. I don't know why it did that. But it seemed to flip over just a bit too easy. So I've still got my big machine part. Well, I'm going to put it back on next time and do the things that I need to do to the underside of the bridge. 
There we go, it's my first bridge in Scrap Mechanic. I think I built five or six of them in Siege and they were all great fun. I just love building bridges. And now I love looking at road signs as well. This is me driving first person. It seems to be a bit easier in first person. It really does. Same vehicle, just that old lump thing. When you're, when you're driving like third person, whatever you would call it, oh, I find it quite difficult. Still really twitchy though. So, we're just about finished guys. <coughs> Thanks for giving me the thumbs up and the like to help me on my way with this. I hope you have. And I'm just going to leave you with a knife edge cliffhanger. I managed to get the edge of it over the bridge. And I thought I'll just stick on some metal blocks here just to tip it over. And it took a lot of metal to make the thing uh, tip over. So I'm thinking maybe I had just built that vehicle far too heavy for that uh, for the short suspension and for the narrow wheelbase or the, na the narrow width of the vehicle. I don't know. I just kept going and going and going and going here trying to get it done. And eventually, away we go. Looks like in slow mode, doesn't it? And then, oink, <laughs> right in the head. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, I'm off. See you later.